Hello, and welcome to the demonstration of Quarry's Protect on Q secure browser. In this demonstration, we'll be displaying the various capabilities of Protect on Q, including a number of malware defenses and information controls that can be enforced within high assurance web applications. On the left side of the screen, we have a program called Leak Detector. Leak Detector is a tool created by Quarry's engineers that acts as a malware emulator, showing many of the different ways that information can be extracted and compromised by unauthorized malware. At the top, you see a keystroke monitor, which acts as a keylogger. Next is a screen monitor that captures a screenshot approximately every 10 seconds. Below is a cache monitor that captures all cached information within the web browser. And last is a clipboard monitor that captures all clipboard information in clear text. In this demonstration, we'll be showing the various types of exploits that can occur with a standard installation of Microsoft SharePoint. As we use a bookmark location to navigate to our SharePoint site, we are first prompted to enter login information. As we enter this information, you can see these credentials being captured by the keystroke monitor. You'll also notice that all of this information is being logged within our cache monitor, which we'll come back to later. Combined with what is also being captured by our screen monitor, this shows how unauthorized malware can allow an intruder to recreate entire sessions and extract potentially sensitive data. Once within our SharePoint, we'll proceed to the Shared Documents section and open a spreadsheet. In this scenario, imagine that this Excel file labeled Financial Statement is a highly sensitive document containing important company financial information. While an end user may need access to such a sensitive document for legitimate purposes, this is a document that could be very costly for an organization if it were to be either intentionally or unintentionally compromised. However, as you would expect from a standard SharePoint, an end user is able to manipulate this document in many different ways. We can copy information to the clipboard as shown in the clipboard monitor and potentially paste it into another document or email. We can save the document to our desktop as seen here. Or of course we can print this document or even take a screen capture. Despite this being highly sensitive information that a user may have authorization to view, it's obvious that this document can be replicated in a variety of different ways by an end user, causing valuable information to be taken out of the organization. As mentioned previously, all of this information is being captured within our cache monitor. Selecting the XLS file from our cache monitor allows us to open a copy of the sensitive document we accessed earlier. This is yet another way that unauthorized malware can potentially capture information from within a web browser session. At this point, we'll proceed to clear all information from Leak Detector and then navigate to a URL that has been enforced with Quarry's Protect on Q Secure Browser. Once we navigate to the URL, we immediately reach a page with a status bar and some very basic information about the secure browser that is launching. As you can see, on average, the secure browser takes between 5 to 10 seconds to launch and the user is then directed to the same page they were attempting to access previously, which in this case is our same installation of SharePoint. Before we proceed any further, let's take a look at some of the details of the secure browser. First, you'll notice that we once again entered our login information, but this time none of that information was captured by the keylogger within Leak Detector. Next, you'll see that we have both an orange border and an orange toolbar that act as visual cueing for the end user that they are now operating within a secure, protected browser. Both the border and the toolbar, along with the text and logo, are fully customizable and can be configured with custom colors, logo, and text, or simply removed altogether. As we proceed back into our secured SharePoint, we'll navigate back to the same shared documents folder as before and open the same sensitive financial statement. As we open the document, you'll notice that once again, our login details are not being captured by Leak Detector. Further, you'll also notice that the same orange border around the web browser is now also present around the session of Microsoft Excel. Not only is the web browser itself secure, but all child processes open from within the protected session are secured as well. At this point, we'll now take a look at how the secure browser helps to prevent unwanted replication of data by end users. As we attempt to copy the same information as before, we now receive a notification stating that the Protect on Q policy does not allow clipboard use on this page. An attempt to save the document produces a similar notification, as does an attempt to print or do a screen capture using the keyboard. In short, this policy prohibits any kind of replication of this document, preventing it from being compromised and potentially causing a costly data breach. All of these controls are based upon policy and can be configured for individual paths within a URL with data controls present in some areas and not within others. We will show an example of this in a few moments. As we close our document, we can now look back at our cache monitor. The green keys next to all of these entries signify that they are being encrypted. Since Protect on Q cannot prevent cache files from being written, we encrypt these files as they are being written and then securely delete them once the session is closed. 
For example, as we attempt to open the XLS file that has our sensitive document, it is unable to be opened because the file appears corrupted when in reality it has just been encrypted. We will now navigate to a different folder within our SharePoint, in this case the Public Files folder. To demonstrate Protect on Q's ability to have flexible policy settings, we will now open a document where there are no concerns about replication. As we navigate to this PDF, you see the same orange border is present around the Acrobat session, indicating that it is still a secured session. However, in this case, an attempt to print the document is allowed, and we are also allowed to save the document directly to our desktop as you can see here. The policy settings for the public folder dictate that these files are able to be replicated so there are no restrictions around the file operations that can be performed. This allows web application administrators to provide customized, granular controls around the data within their web applications, preventing any interruptions to business continuity but mitigating risks associated with sensitive data. Finally, as we close our secure session, you can see the cache monitor within Leap Detector being updated, which indicates all of the cache files are being securely deleted and overwritten. This concludes our demonstration of Quarry's Protect on Q Secure Browser. Please visit our website at www.quarry.com for more information or to request an evaluation. Thank you.